My name is Eckstein, and I'm the faculty coordinator for the Accessible Technology Initiative for the Faculty Development Center. And in this video, I want to talk about creating an accessible document using Microsoft Word. Faculty Development Center is offering workshops on creating an accessible um, syllabus using Microsoft Word. And some of the tips and um, methods that we talk about in that workshop are documented here. One of the most important things you can do is use styles to format your document. So your styles are located up here in the top part of the layout of Word. And it might stretch across a larger section up here, or it might just be in one window. And you can press the next or previous arrows to see the different presets that Microsoft Word has for you. You can use any of these presets, or you can also make your own styles. In this document, you can see that I have a style called Normal. Um, and that's, that's the style that is typically used for body copy or main content on the page. I'm also using a style called Title. And I'm using a style called Heading 1 and Heading 2. I may have a couple of other styles that show up as we work through this document. You can modify a style by clicking on the button that's just to the right of the Styles panel, and we'll do that in the very next step where I modify the title. Once you've applied a style, you can always modify it. I'm going to modify the title style by pressing the Manage Styles button here, just to the, the lower right corner of my Styles area. I'm working on a Mac. On a PC, there's a button that's very similar to this, um, also in just about the same location that will open up the Styles panel. Once you're inside the Styles panel, you can see which style is being used currently. Um, and, and that means the current style of the selected text or wherever the cursor is blinking. So the title is the current style. If I click, um, and this is the same on the Mac and the PC, if you hover over that, that word, there'll be a little down arrow here. And you can click that down uh, pull down arrow. And you can choose Modify Style. In the Modify Style uh, window, you can change things like the font, uh, the font name, sorry, the font size, uh, bold or italics, uh, the spacing, this kind of stuff. You can also change the color, so I could um, ensure that the color of my title, for instance, is black. Um, and the part that most people um, miss is that there's also a formatting area. Now it's, it's down towards the bottom of my screen, so I'm going to zoom in so that you can see what I'm, what I'm doing down here. So here's the format pull-down list, and when I click on that, I can also change um, the paragraph, which is um, actually very helpful for uh, changing your normal style or your body copy. Um, and on the title, I'm going to change the border settings. So if I click border, I can actually see, and let me zoom back out now, I can actually see what's happening in the borders and shading box. So I can see that I have a solid line, I can see it's blue, and I can see it's only one point wide. I might change that to a black line, and I might also give it a little bit um, more weight. And then I would like to see it sort of happening over here. So you can see it's actually only being applied wherever you press the button. So I could set it on the top and on the bottom, or just on the bottom. I could put it all the way around if I wanted to. Um, I'm going to leave it just as it was right on the bottom, and I'll press OK. And OK again. The normal style is being used to control what my body copy looks like. My body copy is essentially all of the text that's, that's um, being used throughout my document, kind of the main content. So you can change the normal style just as well as you can change any of the other styles, choosing Modify Style. And one place that a lot of people are curious about is how to control the indentation on those paragraphs. So you know by now probably about changing the font face um, and the size and maybe the spacing and so forth. Um, but again, if you, if you choose that formatting um, area and go to the paragraph settings, this is where you can change how the paragraph behaves. So I have my first line indenting by half an inch. Um, I have no you know, overall indentations on the left or right, and I have no spaces before and after. A lot of times um, with Word, and you'll see this in the headings, it automatically sets up spacing 
before or after uh, the paragraph style. So you want to watch out for that in the paragraph area. Let's say you add a picture to your file. So I'm going to add course materials and a picture. And I'll just go ahead and style my course materials with my heading 2. So I'm using my subheading just like I am there. We always want to label our images. So I'm going to right click on the picture itself and do insert caption. And here I'll go ahead and just say USB jump drive. When I add a caption, that caption also has by default a style. So at this point, if a screen reader was reading this, it would read course materials as a heading, a subheading uh, in this area. And then when it got to this image, it would read the name of the figure, USB jump drive at least one gigabyte. In terms of um, changing the visuals, I can also go into my caption uh, style and modify that style. Again, maybe change the text to black uh, for mine. And I might also use the same uh, font that I use in my headings. I will also right click on my image and I will include not just a caption but what's called an alt tag. So if I choose format picture and again just to make sure that this is in the view of my camera. I'm going to choose format picture. And in the long list on the left side, I will choose alt text. Now alt text is essentially alternative text which describes the image. Again, this is helpful for a screen reader. So I'll just repeat the same idea as USB jump drive, just sort of um, giving the picture a title. And then if you want to, you can add a description. For this course, you will need a USB jump drive that is at least a gig. If you have a table in your document, you'll want to right click on the table and um, insert a caption there as well. Um, I've got a caption that's already on this one, so I won't add another one, but I added a caption called grad grading breakdown. Um, and then the same thing applies here as does images. You can right click and choose table properties make sure I'm showing that table properties and then in the table properties um, again we can add an alt text so we might say um, the name of the table and then describe what it does I might also say you know this information is available somewhere else put it somewhere else in my course because sometimes tables can be very hard for um, screen readers to read so I would right now I'd say this is available on blackboard um, or if you're using something else, you might say it's available on Moodle, or you might say it's available in some other format, wherever you're going to put it. Finally, if you need more help creating an accessible document, you can find me at the Faculty Development Center. My name is Eckstein, and you can email me at cborough at fullerton.edu. The FDC runs workshops regularly. Um, and I'm also available to uh, provide workshops for departments on campus.